All right, beep, let's do this. First thing first, the name is the LUI. Secondly, the game is the game of bodybuilding. Thirdly, thirdly, mainly, Kevin and uh, Rudy will talk about him in a bit because he is the event uh, this week. Prior to that, let me give a proper salute to my friend Arash Rahbar, trying to do an imitation game of the LUI. Baby, please! Hamiz! Hammies, uh, uh, baby, please, and that's what time it is. So Kevin Lavroni, this was uh, his first guest posing in 14 years, I think. So uh, <clears throat> there is news uh, about it. We're going to see another picture of him uh, in a few. What is uh, the big event is that he is planning to come back, supposedly in about eight months. We'll get into that in a few, though. Prior to that, I'll give a proper uh, salute to this uh, gym bro. Personally, if I've seen this next to me, I could not help myself but go ahead and, and try to help the guy to, to inform him, right? Granted, it is kind of ego lifting, but he looks young. He looks unaware, in my opinion. I will not refrain from trying to give him a hand and advice. This is utterly dangerous, utterly reckless. Again, there is ego lifting, but I would think that this guy would not take it the, the bad way. Because it is a risky situation. It can destroy his life forever. <clears throat> Alhamdulillah, I could clue 1993. This Turkish guy was pretty much one of the first guy to be diced this way. Probably even more diced than Andreas Munzer. May he rest in peace. Who passed away in 96. That Austrian guy was absolutely diced. But this guy was pretty much the glutes development he was pretty much the first guy as far as i know who have them in this fashion even more so than richard uh, gaspari and lee uh, labrada so we're gonna take a look at that he was not the biggest and he was asked actually uh, bro how do you win versus the competition and he told them, bro, I win by my glutes. And glutes uh, it is. So let's take a look at him when he will turn. Alhamdulillah. I could you. Let's take a look at the glutes development. Look at that. Proper uh, Lee uh, executed. But then again, proceed. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, shall we proper salute to this gentleman here? His name is Alex Goy. He has a show called Car Faction. I made a video about him like a week ago when he used to say proper, the, the word proper for like 10 times. But in this review, he did not say it once. So he is no longer saying the word uh, proper. This is the Viper ACR, the most track focused Viper ever. It has a crazy aero kit. Uh, downforce like no other it has some rubbery sticky tires made by Kumo which are very large as well of course it is manual so it's kind of old school but uh, it is faster than a GT3 RS it's pretty much the last of uh, the Mohican and guess what the trainer of Phil Heath namely Mr. Hany Rambod has one that guy is a car nut he is an absolute motorhead he told me Louis Marco maybe one day I will give you a ride in my but don't blame me when you'd have a sore neck because uh, I mean the g-forces in this car are just stupendous it is faster than anything south of hypercars uh, if to beat this around the track you need to have a 918 or a p1 or la ferrari this one is even faster than the gt3 rs so proceed ha ha i mean shall we this is recklessness 101 in my book it's not necessary to act this way so I salute the guy, you know, he's kind of fit and everything, but what's the purpose of doing this? Why? I mean, what's the reason behind this? Granted, he's fit, he's definitely strong, but bro, if you fall, you will lose all your gains. The next thing you know, you'll be paralyzed for the rest of your life. So no salute is bestowed upon V, not even slightly, not even daily, but then again, proceed. Ha ha. I mean, uh, shall we? Uh, the next guy, man. I think he's trolling. Sorry for the music. Let me bring it down. Uh, this guy will not even approach because he's doing some leg exercises, baby, please, on a chest apparatus. There we go. Can you imagine that? Is he for real? I think he is trolling. No salute upon him whatsoever. Uh, talking about uh, Labrada, 
This guy was nicknamed the Mass with a uh, class. He was placed in second to Lee Haney. I think he's originally from Cuba. Right now he's an owner of a very known uh, supplement company, as you guys know. But he was just proper. He was small, extremely uh, conditioned, one of the best posers ever of the old school. Talking about posing, I think he's in contact with my friend Arash Rahbar, the guy who is in classic physique. So most likely uh, they will have a team, uh, actually a meeting actually to, to perfect his uh, posing because he was one of, of the best of his era by all means. Proper salute to that old version of Mr. Labrada. Our gym bro, this is risky right here quite frankly. I don't know if I blame him the most or I blame the basically the training partner in his genes like that. So much wrong is being done in this video. Too many wrong things. Form is not loyal. Uh, the weights are not attached. And the gym bro having some genes trying to have uh, not proper whatsoever. Talking about gym bros, this is gym bro mans, I think. Sorry for the quality of the image, but look at him. What the hell they're doing, these guys? Working some back and he's underneath him like that. Absolutely not properly uh, executed nor uh, saluted. So let's go back to Kevin Lavroni, shall we? Since the video is mainly about him. Again, another picture from uh, the NPC Golds. Again, this is the uh, the guest pose that he had a few days ago. Admittedly, uh, up top, he looks a little bit bigger than Mr. Olympia. Definitely a little bit uh, bigger. Nowhere near his old, um, basically um, all time best shape we have to be honest he's not there but then again he had some injuries in in the chest nonetheless uh he's definitely reminiscent of, of his own self nonetheless we cannot dismiss the fact that these legs are lagging extremely extremely but there is an explanation for that you guys are surely aware that he had some injuries in his knees and this is a less uh, update about him so he went to the doctor and as you guys can read, third tendonitis, baby, please, knees, right? PRP treatment update. So he had done this PRP treatment for uh, the third time. So let's take a listen. Hopefully the sound is loyal. Yeah. Doc is getting into it. Yeah. 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 So you're like banging that thing around right there. So you guys see what I got to go through to get back on stage and compete again? Make it weaker. You hear that? So um, I think the doctor is saying if somebody puts a steroids there, it will make them weaker because it is somehow a known fact that uh, some vitamins actually uh, make the tendons uh, kind of hard and it will weaken them uh, in a sense. Yeah. Because when you're blood, the factors in the and he said that the muscle will grow faster basically than the tendons and basically it will hinder uh, these uh, tendons. So look, we got eight months on our side. We should be 100%, right? Dr. Drake in the house, guys, doing his thing. This is the third procedure here. Yeah. Properly uh, executed PRP uh, tendonitis, baby, please, treatment. So as you heard it, he plans to do a, a show, actually, or a comeback in eight months. So there is not the next Mr. Olympia, but rather prior to that, I have no idea what's the show. Maybe, most likely, the New York Pro, because it falls in, in about eight months uh, from now. Certainly not the Arnold Classic. Ohio, but probably New York Pro. New York Pro would be a good call. Uh, he lives in Maryland, so East Coast for him. Why not? So maybe we'll see again uh, Kevin Lavroni coming back. And we'll see if, uh, you know, uh, the development of these legs uh, will uh, follow. So that's it for Kevin Lavroni. Proper salute is given when proper salute is due. But then again, proceed, uh, shall we? Uh, no salute to this M4 BMW driver. Most likely he was an ex-Mustang uh, driver in the past. Not properly 
executed. Damn you. You destroy the wheels even more uh, than me. No salute upon you, bro. Leave the MDM always on. Do not be a gym bro in on behind the wheels. Phil Heath, though, has uh, a guest pose in actually in this uh, this weekend. It was the Yellowstone Classic. <laughs> When I saw this, I was okay, okay. And then we see the front double biceps and I was like, very okay. There we go. So he actually somehow uh, fixed or addressed the front double bi I told him, bro, uh, your, your front double by somehow this year was not that loyal. I think he had some tightness here. He went with a Kiro uh, practitioner actually prior to Miss Olympia. But right now he looks oh it looks better. It looks better. So of course, I mean no definition, no details whatsoever. So Mr. Olympia, uh, title holder is already in an off season, but then again, he should and he could. This guy competes only once. His D-Day is Mr. Olympia Day. He does not care about qualifying, about doing other shows whatsoever. Right? That's what's up. So most of you know uh, basically what's going on. This is off-season look. Definitely puffier, definitely softer. But still saluted, no bubble gut whatsoever. Bubble gut is not there. Uh, so a lot of you ask me, bro, why is he like this? I mean, come on. I mean, bodybuilders, top bodybuilders for you unaware, will not stay on shape, uh, conditioned all year long. And this is what he was eating a day ago with his girlfriend. So this is sweets, bro. Even me, I cannot afford to eat this, right? So of course, he will, he will not be as conditioned uh, as Kevin Lavroni. Kevin Lavroni is still doing some showing, so he decided to stay diced like that. Uh, it's not the case of um, of uh, Phil Heath. As a matter of fact, I think that Phil Heath is off the vitamins as a whole. I do know for a fact he takes a break of everything weeks uh, in a row after uh, Mr. Olympia, right? Just to give himself a proper, proper uh, rest. Talking about the LUI, this is my case today. Flex, relax, and with t-shirt. I'm still having about, I'm giving myself about 8 to 10 weeks before reaching a desired uh, body fat um, status. It's going to be slow, no hustle, nothing uh, whatsoever. Talking about BMW M4, I had a curb rash. Definitely I stand guilty before you guys. Happened yesterday. It's like the first time ever me damaging, well slightly damaging. The rim is not damaged but it is curb uh, rash as you guys know. My fault, 100%. Never happened to me before, but I was so fatigued. No excuse whatsoever. Did not see uh, the side uh, walk. So to fix this, there is um, there is a kit that you can buy, right? Or you do it professionally at a rim shop and it will not appear uh, whatsoever. So probably I'm going to do uh, the next option because I have no expertise. Uh, baby, please, I want it to look uh, proper. I'm going to do it next week because... Quite soon we'll put the the tire, the snow rims actually on. And that is uh, what is up. So I'll salute you, whatever you is. Don't forget to like the video and tell me what you think about Mr. Kevin Lavroni uh, trying to do a proper uh, comeback, a proper show competing in about eight months. Do you think uh, that he will succeed in bringing uh, these wheels even though he had some tendonitis? He still has it and it's being treated or uh, you think it's just impossible for him to reach back his old shape of, of about 12 years ago. So to whatever you are, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the LUI, bruh.